okay so in this video we will be going to create the dns tunnel between your attacker machine and the compromiser machine and we will be sending the data through that uh, tunnel so we'll be using the tool called iodin so you can search for github iodin and they also gave this link and here uh, there is a checker for this so we need to uh, in order to create the dns tunnel you need to buy the domain on the name chip so i have gone to name chip and have purchased a very cheap domain that that is dot xyz it's just only one dollar per year and you can see for one dollar you will get the uh, one year uh, time so this is my domain if you go to domain list so what we're going to do is we are going to add one name server for this so go to this advanced dns and here we will be adding the uh, ns record and in this ns record we will be adding this iod so you can change this to anything but i am not going to change that it can take some time to reflect this and here you can see this is the a record for this uh, testing and the value is the ip address so ip address of my linux machine so you can go to the Linode to create the Linux uh, machine. You can't use your uh, attacker box because it requires uh, the public IP address. So this is my IP address of this attacker box. And put that IP address here. So we have the A record testing dot dot xyz pointing to this one. And the name server record iod dot dot xyz. And if you go to this uh, page, you can test this iod.txtn.xyz. So here, so it's gonna do some uh, DNS queries and looking for name server for txtn.xyz. So it got the name server at dns1.registrarservers.com. If you go to and Google search for name cheap name servers, here you can see these two are the name servers for the uh, name cheap. So that's how we got this DNS one and resolving delegation for iwd dot dot xyz. So this subdomain is at the uh, at this IP address. So this IP address is uh, I think the name server of this one to testing dot uh, taxi standard xyz that is my linux box and expecting iodin to be accessible at this ip address no replay so that means we need to run this iodin server so there are two components that is uh, iodin d iodin daemon that is you need to run this one on the server and normal iodin you need to run on the client so you can copy this one and clone the repository So I'm going to login into my attacker box. I have already cloned this one. Uh, you need to make and make install to install the binary system wide. So I have already done that one. So it's very simple. Uh, run the make and it will install. Now I add in D minus H. So if you go to the repo uh, repository, it says minus F for the foreground and you need to assign the ip address for the adapter so it will create a new adapter on this attacker box and you need to decide what ip address uh, it should allocate to that adapter minus f for the foreground and what we are going to do is let's say 192.160 let's 172.16. Sixty nine dot one. So this is the IP address I want to assign to the adapter, and the uh, domain is iod dot nine dot xyz. If you run this one, we need to enter some tunnel password. You can also give this in the command line with the capital P. Let's say test is the password. 
now you can see it is going on reasoning for the iod dot text standard x value now if i go and try this again now you can see it got the correct ip address using the name server and yes you can see there is a reply uh uh, you don't see any output here uh, but it will iodin will reply from our uh, server stating that everything is fine all right now let's go and and log into this uh, compromiser box so let's say you got the shared access on this box and you need to have the root access to this so that means you need to root the box So if I go and type if config, and here you can see there is uh, there is now a public IP address and ten dot zero subnet and ten dot ten subnet. If I go and log into my attacker box again, so this is my attacker box. If I go and ping this ten dot ten dot ten dot two, so I cannot ping because uh, that is a uh, internal subnet. So what we are going to do is uh, we are going to uh, install this one same uh, like compare this one make and you will get the binary that is iodine. If you look at the GitHub repository, here you can see uh, the foreground password and the domain. Now foreground the password is test and the domain so what you can do is you can also add another argument that is uh, specifying the ip address of our attacker box that is this one uh, this method is very useful uh, whenever the dns queries are allowed to the uh, for for any domain then this method will be uh, very useful to power through this DNS tunnel. So now I can say IOD dot text dot XYZ. So we are uh, giving the IP address here. So that means uh, this client, uh, this client IODIN will try to first connect to this uh, server IP address. If you hit enter and you can see immediately it is getting the IP address to the nearest uh, internal IP 172.16.69.2 that is dns0 adapter now let's uh, control c this one and let's delete this one and if you hit enter it says uh, it will search for this uh, xyz and then it will retrieve the uh, ip address and connect to this uh, the text in dot dot xyz that is our attacker box and you can see the IP address was assigned different, but the near nearest to the uh, attacker DNS zero. Now the setup is complete. Now let's go and open the new terminal on our attacker box. And if I type if config, you will have another adapter DNS zero, which is 172.16.69.1. Now if I go and ping the 172.16.69.2 sorry not 2 that is 4 and here you can see we got successful ping. So there is a tunnel between this uh, DNS 0 adapter of our attacker machine and the DNS 0 adapter of this uh, client machine. Now you can uh, forward all the traffic uh, through this DNS tunnel. But uh, th that will be very slow because the data will be sent in the DNS queries uh, the data dot uh, subdomain dot com so what we are going to do is we are going to uh, add the SSH tunnel to this so we will be using the SSH port forwarding here so let us copy this ok now what we are going to do is we are going to log in into this uh, compromised box so you can also log in as a normal user uh, we can say l local port forwarding 
let's say 6969 port so forward to 10 dot 10 dot 10 dot 2 22 so we know that ssh port is running on this box which is the 10 dot 10 dot 10 dot 2 so we will be forwarding 6969 to 10 10 10 to 22 so you can log into any user but now the ip address you want to specify is the dns0 adapter ip address of the client box this one so copy this and type here dot 4 now if you hit enter type yes and type the password so you will be successfully logged in so open new terminal uh, for the attacker box and now what we are going to do is uh, we are going to netcat 127.0.0.1.6.9.6.9 and here you can see we got the ssh so you can nmap six nine six nine port you can see this is a open port so let's go and try to ssh login ssh root at the rate one twenty seven zero zero one minus p six nine six nine and here you can see we got logged in into the uh, compromised box so he uh, you can now scan the internal network which don't have any other machines uh, but you can scan other machines as well so this is a very good technique when the dns queries are allowed when the only dns queries are allowed and every other uh, service was blocked so that's all for this video i highly suggest you to read this one so i have also tried the routing without the ssh tunnel so wha what we are going to do is we are going to first add the route to the name server so what are our name servers uh, dns1 registerservice.com so these ip addresses so this ip address you need to add the route uh, to this uh, to that server as a default gateway on your uh, attacker box uh, then we need to replace the default gateway uh, which is uh, by default the default gateway is 194.195.118.1 so you need to replace that with the IDND server ip address inside dns tunnel that is we have given the ip address right for the this one that is 172.16.16.1 so basically we are uh, setting this one as a default gateway and sending all the data to this tunnel but uh, there is one problem for this uh, linode uh, whenever you try to change the configuration of this uh, network whenever you change the default gateway with this ip address uh, it resets so the box freezes and we will lose the connection and you need to uh, reboot the box or you need to kill that session so this uh, normal routing did not work even though if it work uh, it will be very slow so that's why i highly suggest you use the ssh tunnel over this dns tunnel